Praise Jesus, everybody. Thank you for joining me for the Michael Tobin Show. And this episode is part of the sub-show on the Michael Tobin Show. It's called Trusting with the acronym M-A-R-A, From Bitterness to a Delight, Part 2. So it's Trusting, Mara, Making America Righteous Again, From Bitterness to a Delight. And that is named after, taken after my book, Making America Righteous Again, From Bitterness to a Delight. And I explained my book in previous podcasts, and I will say that it is based on Naomi, the biblical character Naomi, her name. It means a delight. And when she came back home after the famine, her family and others recognized her, and uh, they said, uh, Naomi... And she says, no longer call me Naomi, but call me Mara, for the Lord has dealt bitterly with me. And interesting, uh, an interesting thing to point out is that the name Mara is only mentioned twice in the Bible. The other time is when Moses and the Israelites, were the Jews at the time, uh, the Hebrew slaves, they, the, during the Exodus... They came upon a body of water and they could not drink it because it was bitter. And uh, Moses named it Mara, uh, meaning bitter waters. So here in the United States, we need to make America righteous again. In that, we must turn from our bitterness and become a delight. And uh, I invite you to go to Amazon.com and search my name, Michael D. Tobin, and my book in key in, in Kindle e form will show up. And <clears throat> the sale of that book will be it, it would be a blessing to anybody who reads it, and it would go uh, towards uh, my my passions and my desires to work for the Lord it would serve as broadcast with broadcasting podcasting and broadcasting I, I I call them the same thing because what I'm doing right now is I'm broadcasting but the new term uh, is called podcasting because broadcasting is linked towards you know like terrestrial radio like AM or FM radio station with a big old huge radio tower well this is uh, more or less this is actually celestial and it, 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 it depends on on uh, the internet and satellites to which is uh, much greater than terrestrial so in order to come up with a name they came up with podcasting so this is a podcast but to me it's a broadcast Uh, I'm an old radio guy I was in the radio business for five years um, at AM uh, 1430 WPES Uh, it is no longer WPES it is another station uh, run by a university in Ashland Virginia I forget the call names uh, but the radio station is still there, and I actually visited it this last summer. So, on that note, my um, the title, Trusting, this is part two. And I actually read from Psalm 20 in part one. I want to read it again, and I have another scripture f- from uh, the book of Romans. For the director of music, a psalm of David... May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now this I know, the Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. 
They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Lord, give victory to the king. Answer us when we call. And that is Romans. I mean, that is Psalm chapter 20, verses 1 through 9. And remind me to go back to verse 7, okay, after I'm done with this Romans chapter 15, verses 12 and 13. And again, Isaiah saith, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise to reign over the Gentiles, and him shall the Gentiles trust. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. See, here we have the Old Testament and the New Testament blending and meshing together with faith, hope, and trust and even joy in trusting in the Lord are you trusting in the Lord I sure am I am trying to and thank you for reminding me verse 7 some trust in chariots and some in horses but we trust in the name of the Lord our God they are brought to their knees and fall see horses can be brought to the knees they can fall but we as God's children can rise up and stand firm I think I got enough time to tell you about this analogy <clears throat> I, I believe it is a very profound analogy um, I kinda had this this image of myself running on a horse on a nice gallop and then suddenly, this is about trusting in horses versus trusting in man. Suddenly, the horse, it turned sideways and came to a slide and then in reverse and slid in reverse just at the point of a cliff. Let's just say it was a 300 foot cliff. And then as the horse stops... I bounce in reverse off of of the back of the horse <clears throat> and were it not and I am over the cliff now ready to drop were it not for the horse's tail I surely would have fallen so I'm thinking to myself wow this horse is my friend <laughs> this horse is going to save my life and I did not know what to do I was shocked and then all of a sudden the horse in doing what horses do dropped a load right on my head and all I could think of is oh that darn horse and oh I cannot let go of this tail oh if this horse can just pull me up pull me back up and I won't be angry at the horse so suddenly I say hi ho silver <laughs> and the horse jumps up off of his hind legs and 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 pulls me up and over hard ground and I let go of the tail and the horse saved me now that horse pooped on my face right and well my not my face but that horse pooped on my head but that horse only was doing what horses do should I be angry at the horse wouldn't be logical what would Spock do so I'm thinking it's just not logical Captain Kirk I can't be angry at this horse he just did what he did and plus he saved my life so you know I was trusting in that horse when I was riding and I liken that horse and trusting in that horse to something else but now I am back into a place to where I'm saying you know what God if I only depend on you you're not gonna ride me to a cliff and turn around and let me bounce off you're not gonna do that Lord so I wanna rely on the Lord I wanna rely on the name of the Lord our God my God because God will not lead me into situations like that but this horse did so 
it's kind of a silly analogy but if it gets the point across <clears throat> that's what it did so folks what are you trusting for I'll tell you let me tell you what I'm trusting for I've got about another three month timeline but I want my broadcasting to be a catalyst of sorts to be used along with more disaster response with the Billy Graham rapid response team in which I am a chaplain with there are so many disasters happening across the United States and even California and I got into this before will God save California there's so much going on I'm sure you could see it all in the news um, but I would like to do that I would like to be uh, guests at your churches and things such as that full-time ministry I'm 53 years old folks and I've been in the Lord for uh, about 27 years 20 27 years since 1989 I came back to the Lord go ahead and do the math I'm talking um, <clears throat> but it's been about 27 years and I have nothing but a passion for the Lord you know and talking about trusting in the Lord I feel like I am the most least qualified to even be talking about trusting the Lord because if it's not one challenge it's after another and it's almost like a sledgehammer every time but <clears throat> excuse me but what I am trusting in the Lord for is the ability to to work for the Lord full time and be able to proclaim the goodness in Jesus Christ to the world it's basic Jesus' last words was to go out into the whole world and preach to every creature baptizing them in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost and folks that is all I want to do and <clears throat> with listener support I don't I don't care if it's twenty dollars a month twenty five fifty a hundred a month whatever you know I grew up and I'm 53 years old, so I born in 1964. So I've seen the 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 uh, evolution of Christian television, folks. I know about every year, two times a year, or whatever. It seems like it's every month on Christian television that they're doing these marathons, and it's got to have every one of us disgusted and sick and tired of it all but the fact is is those people are preaching the gospel and whatever other types of I don't know it's just a mess I don't even have time to talk about it it's uh, not really prosperous to talk about it but folks I, I'm just a regular guy and everybody knows that how can one go to preach if if one is not sent and you can you can uh, look at all of those scriptures that that talk about money and and the ability sell all well folks my challenge is to be able to do that and I and I'm uh, pleading for listener support and I am at the point right now that in order to keep my bills going I'm gonna have to sell my truck and I could probably get five thousand dollars for it but that's gonna pay my bills and and but what I'm trusting for is something ahead folks the sad truth is that we don't know how God is gonna work for us but if we just do what we need to do with what we have to do with when we're able to do it that's all that we can do because we're living by faith now we're a child of God and we're living by faith so that's what I'm believing for by July I need to get my my passport renewed and uh, I'm working part-time already and but this is temporary <clears throat> so folks please believe with me it's so hard to, to describe go to go to my uh, give send go site give send go dot com and look up my name and go to GoFundMe and look up my name 
and you'll see I explain it all there. If you want to get in my head, see what I'm all about, check that out. Thank you guys very much, and God bless you. This has been part two of Trusting in the Lord, Making America Righteous Again from Bitterness to a Delight. Yeah.